I just finished two client video edits and still have a ton of crap to do. I have more client edits. My office is trashed. My front yard is overgrown. I was sent this TT Artisan's 75mm f2 autofocus lens to review. Another Chinese lens. I don't know if this thing is worth a dedicated review or not. It's not a G Master. It does have an aperture ring that clicks. No weather sealing though. Good build quality. I mean, what can you expect for a $199 lens? I don't know. Them weeds growing out thick. And my wife ain't having it. Looks like I'm trimming hedges and pulling weeds today. A part of me was thinking I could have pulled up to the local 7-Eleven or Home Depot and gave some Latinos a bit of cash. They would have this done in 15 minutes. But then I thought, that is kind of racist. I'm not trying to get canceled today by some Caucasian females that got nothing else better to do. To be honest, my parents immigrated from Vietnam to the United States. I should be trimming hair or people's toenails, not hedges. But I guess I didn't fall too far from the tree. I do trim for a living. Trim video clips. I've been blessed enough to live for over 40 years. And if there is one thing I've realized, you have to maintain everything that is important to you and weed out everything that is not. Unfortunately, I don't excel at either one due to some ADHD and ASD. Couldn't you tell? Did you see my office? Do you see these overgrown bushes and weeds? Did you see me saying yes to review a $199 lens I had no business or time saying yes to? If you don't maintain your garden, it gets overgrown. If you don't maintain your client backlog, it takes over your schedule and you fall behind. If you don't maintain your office, it gets disorganized and distracting. If you don't maintain your body, it falls apart. The damn weeds in your life just takes away from the precious time you don't have. Unlike bushes, they don't deserve to be trimmed or maintained. They need to be removed. If you don't remove them, it overwhelms your garden. If you take on needless client work, it takes over your schedule. If you buy needless gear, it takes over your office. If you take in junk food, it takes over your body. YouTube reviews, brand marketing, some people in your life are a lot like these weeds. You don't want them, but they show up anyway. You never planted these seeds. Why are the weeds growing? You don't need a new lens, but why are these lens reviews popping up on your feed? Then the talking points, corner to corner sharpness, chromatic aberration, bokeh quality, focus breathing, 56 elements in 28 groups or whatever. Those are all weeds you just gotta pull out. But at the same time, weeds to some people can be a wanted plant for others. This TT Artisan 75 F2 lens kind of turning out to be that flower that grew from concrete. Sure, the autofocus isn't completely silent, but it works. The lack of weather sealing is a bit risky, but that depends if you even film in bad weather. Boca may be a bit busy, but to me, for filmmaking, this character is desired. Did I mention this lens is $199? It's getting late and I gotta run some errands. Gotta stop by the rental property to make some measurements. 
Gotta talk to the contractor about some repairs. Gotta pick up some dinner for the wife and kids. Just more mundane tasks for my busy mind. No different than this traffic. Just endless thoughts, changing lanes, trying to make it to an exit. Like the seasons, the cycle will come back around. The hedges will need to be trimmed again. The weeds will need to be pulled again. There will be another lens to review that you may or may not need. This day has ended, but tomorrow will come again. Hopefully, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so I can come back again. Until next time. Lighten up. I have here Sue Ray's new quick carbon fiber tripod, the SQ75. The sturdy leg sets up really quick, but most importantly, it has the new VHS-10 balancing fluid head, which makes handling bigger professional camera setups a breeze. Oh my God, that tripod, it Rat? Bro, this tripod is solid. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't need the big tripod. All you need is the iPhone 6T. The iPhone is never going to replace my professional camera setup. It do raw. It stabilize. It do 4K 120. Didn't you just tell me last week the Panasonic S5 Mark II X is better than the Sony FX3 because 4K 120 is overrated? You can't do the iPhone 16 unbox video with that tripod. I am not doing an iPhone 16 unboxing video. Let me show you. Oh my God, iPhone 16, it no bad. My guy, you need to stop wasting money on the same damn phone every year. Save up some of that money and buy yourself some new flip-flops. You still got your pinky toes hanging out of them flip-flops. Sign up for my how-to flip-flop opinion to show my the clock. Only $29.99.